I know this isn't my normal type of video and I apologize. Uh, I don't go after people. I've never gone after anybody on YouTube. Okay, I did call Greg Solomon a, a capitalist uh, something. Uh, expletive deleted. Uh, I think that's true, but that's not the point. Um, Greg, I, I like you, Greg. Anyway, uh, I saw something that pissed me off. I was told, um, until I confirmed it myself, um, for all of you outside the United States, for those of you who are not uh, watching current events here in the United States, you'll know that two boys in Missouri were, um, were rescued um, from their captor. The oldest boy, Sean Hornbeck, had been uh, kidnapped in uh, 2002 and had uh, been placed in this um, child predator's fantasy prison. I don't think I need to go into detail um, when I bring kidnapped child predator uh, pedophile uh, or alleged pedophile into the same subject. I think you know what's going on. Anyway, I had somebody say to me, you know, Bill O'Reilly yesterday said uh, that Sean Hornbeck uh, um, loved to stay in his captor's little dungeon because um, he didn't like to go to school and it was just oh so much fun being held, being held captive, child predators fantasy prison. Yeah, obviously uh, that's not working. For you, Bill. I'm sorry. He said basically it's um, obvious, or well, basically this kid hated school. I'm glad you know him. That's that's very good. That's that's very good. You, you apparently you have a better uh, track record than Sylvia Brown. I'm hats off to you, Bill. Of course, we are talking about Bill O'Reilly, the same guy that said um, says what he says. Uh, I gotta tell you, this is really scumbagtastic of him. Just you're you're going all out, Bill. I'm gl I'm glad to see I'm glad to see you made it onto the playing field. Thank you. You know, he said it probably had to do a lot with the boredom and the, his cap door. <clears throat> I'll say it again, his cap door. Uh, let him you know stay up late, play PlayStation, child predators fantasy prison kidnap me somebody please I'll give you the home address please somebody kidnap me because I'm bored damn it I'm on YouTube look at me I'm bored please kidnap me see O'Reilly's uh, say also that federal uh, inmates just they have it so well off you know it's just great facilities but, but they're missing the point. No matter how great the uh, facilities are and the environment, and I'll just point out one more time we're talking about a uh, child predator. You know, child predator's fantasy prison. Great, it's a great environment, Bill. Uh, but you're missing one point, and that is that what do you trade off? Uh, your freedom. No, I'm not asking Bill O'Reilly to apologize. I'm not asking for him to apologize to any of his previous mistakes. I can count... I think I can count all of his mistakes on... Um, maybe all the fingers of my subscribers. I don't know. That's possible. I'm, look, I'm sorry. I don't like to go after Bill O'Reilly or anybody like that, but uh, he just pissed me off. Yeah. I know it's not my normal type of video. I apologize. But, uh, uh, injustice anywhere is, a uh, injustice everywhere. You know, I believe, uh, a great man once said that. And I think it's still true today. We can blame the victim all we want, but that won't change anything. And I could stand here all night, uh, talking about Bill O'Reilly or uh, 
anyone in general. But I'm not going to do that. I just thought I'd bring it to your attention. It, 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 it pissed me off. So, anyway, we'll get back to normal videos here uh, real soon, tomorrow. So, anyway, from the Bad Farm, this is Xander Kaufman saying, we'll see you later and take care. Bill, if you're watching, you're an asshole. Me! <laughs> you know, that's the way it is.